We're gonna be making some jicama fries. You guys, if you've never tried jicama fries before, you have got to try them. I have tried making keto french fries with jicama, with rutabaga, with turnips, and jicama is still my favorite. Let's go ahead and get started on the video and let me show you how easy it is to make these jicama french fries. Okay, so to get started on these keto french fries with this jicama, I'm gonna be using this peeler here. It is a little harder to peel jicama than like say a potato or something like that because there's like an extra layer on there. But um, whatever is easiest for you, uh, sometimes I just use a knife. So the first thing we need to do is just get this jicama peeled. Next up, you're just gonna cut your jicama into slices and then you're gonna cut them into little sticks. And then you can make them however short you want because depending on the size of your jicama, your um, jicama sticks are gonna be pretty long. So if you want really long french fries, leave them as is. Uh, they will cook better when they're not as thick. So you could make them as thick or thin as you want, but just remember um, they're gonna cook better if they're thinner. Okay, so I went ahead and microwaved the jicama uh, put them in the in some water and put them in the microwave. You can boil them on the stove for 10 to 15 minutes or you cannot. It's up to you. All it's going to do is soften the inside of it just a little bit. But if you don't mind, sometimes I don't even boil them first because it honestly doesn't even bother me. So we're going to start off by putting our seasonings in. Put some oil in there and we're just going to add in all of our seasonings which what I season them with is garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, pepper, salt, and some thyme. Okay, so we're gonna start off by frying our jicama, showing you that way. And what we'll do is we'll take half the batch and fry them, and then we'll take half the batch and put them in the air fryer. So just add some avocado oil or whatever oil you normally cook with, um, add it to a frying pan, and then just let the pan get hot. All right, we're just gonna add all of our fries into the pan and basically we're just gonna let them cook until they're done. They're gonna brown a little bit and um, then we'll go ahead and remove them. You don't wanna cook them on too high because your fries will burn um, and you wanna cook them more medium because that way the inside does get a little softer also. They can also go in the freezer. So if you have leftovers, go ahead and freeze them take them out next time you want them and then just toss them in the air fryer. All right, and now while those are finishing up, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the other half and I'm gonna add them to my air fryer tray and I'm gonna go stick them in the air fryer real quick. So the jicama fries are done. Let me just show you what they look like um, and then we're gonna test them out. So these are the ones that are fried in the avocado oil. So this is what they look like here. Let's go ahead and try one of the ones that we fried. And then I'm gonna be trying them today with some sugar-free ketchup here. Well, let's try, let's try it first by itself. Flavor-wise, they're very good. Mm -hmm. If you do want to get it softer on the inside, then just boil them in water for about 10 minutes before you do this. Okay, so now these are the air fried ones here. Now these to me look really nice. See them? Let's give these a try. Let me try it with no ketchup. So they are a little bit more crispy on the inside in the air fryer than when you fry them. So if you don't want them that crispy, then you probably want to go with frying them. But then if you do want them softer, just remember you can boil them in water for 10 minutes first. Um, 
it just I, the crust the crunch inside doesn't bother me so if it doesn't bother you you don't need to boil it but if it does i mean try it both ways and see what works best for you but that is it for the video guys so this is really really simple keto french fries really easy to make some keto french fries making jicama french fries you can also try the same exact method with uh turnips and rutabaga leave me a comment down below let me know if you've ever had jicama fries or what do you prefer have you tried them with turnips and rutabaga let me know which is your favorite way and i will see you on the next video